Hey guys, so uh, today is going to be my birthday haul and oh my gosh, am I so excited to do this for you. So yesterday was my birthday which was the 26th of May and first of all I'd like to apologise for these balloons in the background. I just thought they'd make a good atmosphere but they might be blowing around a bit. So today I'm just going to go through a few of the things I got for my birthday because I know a lot of you requested for it and I seriously have got some of the most exciting things ever this year. It's been amazing. So I'm sort of going to go through it one by one and I usually do save the best for last so let's just get into it. So the first pair, uh, first pair, <laughs> first thing I got was this pair of Ralph Lauren sunglasses. I'll put a close up on the other side here which is from my two cousins Lacey and Matt and my other two cousins Lane and Haley, and they collaborated together and they both got me these beautiful Ralph Lauren sunglasses and oh my gosh I love them they're so nice like <laughs> I never usually go for this design but I think it actually suits me and they're they're amazing quality and I love these so much then the next thing I got was from my cousins it's just this little spa sanctuary set it's got like an exfoliator a um body butter and a shower gel in it and this is smells really really nice and it's I think it's like orange scented it's absolutely gorgeous and it comes in this little box then from my greatest nan she saved my life and she got me um, a heat proof mat for my oops a heat proof mat for my straighteners and curling irons which I desperately needed and I didn't really know anywhere that would just sell the, the mat like usually they sell it along with the straighteners and stuff and I really didn't need that so she basically saved my life and it came along with like a little case if you travel to put your irons in um, and she also got me these little clips which this the crocodile clips um, which I believe she got all these from Avon and she got me a pair of leggings as well but they're really tiny um, but yeah I'm not gonna tell her then from my well this wasn't really a birthday present but we went out on my birthday and we went to I think Tesco home and I asked my mum just to get me these two which is the fit me foundation and they fit me powder and I wanted to try these together and I think I got a shade too dark but if it does we'll have to work with it I don't really know but I will be trying this out and if it's any good I will do a review on it like definitely I have a lot of things to do reviews on so I'm just gonna pick the best ones but I'll let you guys know how that goes whether it's on Instagram or whatever it is also if you follow me on Instagram which the link is right here Aruni, <laughs> you would also know a few of the things that I already got I did Instagram the picture of like my presents all laid out when I first came downstairs and then a quick picture of what it was when I had finished opening my presents but it was a very like small picture of only small things so you couldn't really see everything but yeah then the next thing I just wanted to mention, it was a present but it wasn't really a present, is this letter from my best friend Rain as she lives in the Gold Coast in Australia and I live here now so she's still my most amazingly best friend but she gave me this most amazing letter. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Sorry I'm a bit off key today. It was one of the most amazing things I've ever read and it was so heart touching so that to me was just one of the most amazing presents I could have got. Then the next present I got is the official my official pass to IMATS 2013 in London so me and my mum are going to IMATS on the 22nd and 23rd of June I think we're going to be there most of the day so you know if you're coming along make sure you let me know in the comments and I'm sure we can meet up and have a chat or whatever because that would be absolutely amazing to meet you guys and yeah so my official I knew I was getting this but she gave me the actual tickets on the day of my birthday she's like this is part of your present you already knew you're gonna get it but here you are anyway then from some of my family I got um, some money as well I'm not gonna say the amount or whatever but I did get a, quite a bit of money which is fantastic because right now oh guys you have no idea how much shopping I have done and I will want to do We'll just leave it there because I'm sure you'll see holes of what they are. Then from my um, auntie and uncle and my cousins, so George, Nat, Francesco and Karina, they got me a £20 gift voucher for Debenhams which is perfect because the Debenhams Beauty's got Urban Decay and uh, you know, uh, oh, MAC benefit, all those different um, things so that will be getting me probably the MAC um, the MAC, you know, the, the Connoisseur's collection or something like that. I really want the beauty powder. I think it's beautiful and I think it's around £21. So this basically pays for itself, which is amazing. Then, oh, where are we going to go next? Where are we going to go next? Okay, I'll probably show you one of the things I'm most excited about. My 
auntie and uncle actually got me a Estee Lauder and Michael Kors collaboration of makeup so I was like are you serious I seen the sparkling Michael Kors and I was like are you serious and I pulled it out and it is this beautiful shiny Michael Kors bag oh my gosh and it comes with the keychain and this tassel which also says Michael Kors I'll probably take this off and put it on my bag or something because hopefully I'm getting a Michael Kors bag soon but I need to sort of save up more and get iMats out of the way first but I, it is one of my goals to get a Michael Kors bag and I will because I know with her is places that do them for reasonable prices but this was just the half of it looking at the bag right so beautiful and then you open it up inside and there's a little card here that says Michael Kors and it says limited edition Michael Kors cosmetic case designed by Michael Kors exclusively for Estee Lauder holiday 2011 so I think this was a Christmas one but you know it doesn't have anything connected to Christmas with it so I don't really mind I absolutely love it and in here it comes with this um, normal double wear stay in place eye pencil which is the um, Estee Lauder one which I've tried out on my hand and I didn't even I barely touched it on my hand and it was the most pigmented thing ever I am really excited to use this and I've actually been looking for a new sort of eyeliner pencil so if it means that Estee Lauder is the one then at least I get to try it out first and maybe if it's good repurchase it but once again I'll let you guys know I'll just mention it in a video later on if it's any good or not but I think it will be because Estee Lauder is known for their makeup so we'll give that a go then it came with this little duo brush set Ooh! I always drop something in a video don't I then it came with this little duo like brush set one of them was like a little powder brush and the eyeshadow brush the powder brush is a little bit hard but that's okay because you know it's just for your face then the little eye brush is really really nice and it's really sort of heavy brushes really good quality and they are just great and I'm really looking forward to trying out the small eyeshadow brush then next it came with this little mini lip gloss this is Estee Lauder as well and it's like a really I came with the lip gloss which is a really nice like nude pink and it's got these beautiful specks of silver glitter in it it's so so beautiful and then it came with this lipstick now this is just a normal Estee Lauder lipstick and this is in pink um, parfait and it's a shimmer which I'm not usually a fan of shimmer but this one I think has got me convinced it is so beautiful it's basically the same as the lip gloss but in lipstick form and it's a little bit darker but I only have one Estee Lauder lipstick and that is the red one which I think is in fiery red or something like that and it's really really nice um, so I really am excited to give this one a go and I think I will actually really like it especially paired up with the lip gloss even though they're small size I think that is just plenty because I never really finish a lip gloss then the final thing that I'm most excited about because all of that stuff was just um, Estee Lauder makeup then this is where they collaborated and it says this is the palette the Estee Lauder and Michael Kors palette oh my gosh this packaging is beautiful to start with and then if we open it up inside you get six eyeshadows and one blush oh my freaking gosh um I am really really excited and I mean I haven't really tried out the eyeshadows yet but oh wow the thing that I am not a massive fan about with um with expensive makeup like Estee Lauder and Yves Saint Laurent and um, those different brands is usually their eyeshadows are not that pigmented or if they are they're not meant to be because usually it's more sheerly worn with people who would sort of buy this brand so I'm not a massive fan of their eyeshadows but at the same time they have two matte or well, no, one matte color and one demi matte color in here that I'm really excited about and that's the nude one so this one right here which I'll just do a little swatchy swatchy of and that one I really like but also what I do like about these expensive brands is they do amazing lipsticks lip glosses and blushes so actually this palette is mostly blush so that's what I'm most excited about so if we do a little swatch of that blushes I like to be sheer because at least when they're sheer you can build them up but when they're pigmented it's very difficult to get a little bit on this one definitely this palette to me is all about the blush I absolutely love the blush Okay, right, now we're on to the top three most exciting things. These are the last things, really. And then we have one more thing that I have to show you that is pretty big for me to show you. So, I guess I'll start off next with the biggest thing I have to show you. So I'm just going to move my chair out of the way so I can show you. Okay, guys, so the next thing that I want to show you 
is um, a present from my um, auntie and uncle. They got this for me, well auntie, uncle and two cousins Jack and George. They got this for me and oh my gosh, I didn't even know what to say. So, give me a second, I gotta go get it. Here it is. They got me a BMX. I'm, I, I mean like, what, are you serious? This is a BMX Diamondback. If you're not familiar with BMXs like myself at the moment, um, apparently it's a very, very good brand of BMX. Um, this was one of theirs, but my uncle actually collects BMXs, which is why I was so surprised when he came out with this, because he was, he just was like, here you are, it's your birthday present. And I'm like, are you, no, that's not, what, are you serious? That was the most amazing thing ever. I am so, so excited for this. This is crazy and hopefully I do get on with it. I think I will. I just need time to practice. So once we've moved in, then at least I've got something to do. <laughs> As you can see, that's a pretty big present. Like they don't retail cheap at all. And I really don't care that it's not it's second hand. Like that didn't even occur to me. In fact, it's even nicer for it to be coming from my uncle's collection, which is amazing. So let's hope I persist on with that, which I'm pretty sure I will because it's really exciting and I've never picked anything up quite as so fast. I've tried skateboarding, I've tried inline skating, didn't really work out for me. So now I'm a BMX girl. Okay, so gosh, now on to the top three most exciting, like smaller things. That was probably the most exciting out of all of them, but in a different sense. This is all beauty related. I'm gonna shut up and cut off with it. <laughs> So then next I got, oh my gosh guys, I got two things from Sigma. I first of all got the Sigma Make Me Blush Travel Edition kit and I also got the Sigma Kabuki F80, the flat Kabuki F80, because this is what I've wanted to be trying. These are from Sigma.com. My nan got them for me. Oh my gosh. That, oh, I knew she was getting because she asked me what I wanted and she asked me to help her out ordering it online. But it's very different when you actually hold it and you actually get really excited. So um, this is the actual box as you can see. This is the travel edition so it does come with seven brushes. It's not the full size one. The full size one I believe retails for about £100 and this one I think retails for about £60. But you know I will end up getting the big one at some point but you know it's you can't just willy nilly spend £100. But these brushes are definitely brushes for life. So the back just tells you a bit about them, the brushes and the company, and then it just says what brushes you get. And the front, obviously, it's pink, and it's got this sort of like lace design. It comes with this sticker, so make sure if you're ordering from a different website, you get the sticker that says "Hand Checked by Sigma Beauty," um, and make sure it's actually stuck on there. So if we open it up, inside is this. Oh, this is gonna blow away, isn't it? Inside is this case, which one of the things I was most excited about. I love this idea, I love this concept. So it's just basically like this and you flick it open, I'm sure you've all seen this, and out comes the brushes. So you can also just set it down on the table like that and you have two brush holders. This is gonna definitely be on my vanity when I get my vanity delivered to the house. It definitely will be on there. So when I do a room tour, you're gonna see these again. But this, I'm definitely doing a review video on. These definitely deserve a review video. They're absolutely amazing. So it comes with seven brushes. The first one, this one, is the one I'm most excited about. It is the um, Large Angle Contour F40 um, Sigma brush, and it's so, so soft. I think this is goat hair, but once again, if you want a vegan option of brushes, they do do the Mrs. Bunny kit, which is all synthetic, but I'm pretty sure they're just as soft. But that's probably the one I'm gonna get in the full, full kit, the bigger one, the 12 piece. Or I might just get the pink again, because I like the Make Me Blush. But these are so gorgeous. This is perfect for blush. It is so perfect for blush. Then the next one you get is this one, which is the Large Powder F30 brush. And it's just like this. Once again, they're all mega, mega soft. And yeah, these are only, I think, slightly shorter than the brushes. Like, they don't even make any difference. They just look like normal brushes to me. Once again, I'm going to do a full review. I'm just going to quickly take you through the brushes. Then you get this one, which is the Foundation F60 brush, which is synthetic. Now we go on to the smaller brushes, you get this one which is the Tapered Blending E40, which is just very nice. It sort of reminds me of my um, MAC one, 
but I'll do a comparison in my review video. Then it comes with this one which is the eye shading E55 brush which this one I love because it looks just like the one my Topshop brush that I use every day but this one is definitely my favourite like well, they're all my favourite but if I had to pick the best eye brush that would be one of them. Then you get this one which is the small angle E65 brush which is either perfect for liner or for eyebrows for me I'll be using it for eyebrows definitely. For eyeliner I like using the thinner brushes. Then this is the last one which is the pencil E30 brush and this one is so perfect for your crease and for underneath your lash line. And once again it's the same hair it's the same hair as the this brush the goat hair. Okay, then we go on to this one which I've wanted to try out for a very long time. It is the Sigma Flat Kabuti Kabuti Kabuki F80 brush. And it's just basically a really, really, really dense um, foundation brush. And it's flat top. You can get the round top, the tapered, um, the angle. There's plenty. And I was going to get the big kit. But once again, that retails for about £80. So it is it is something that you have to sort of aspire to get, um, being my age and everything. So going for a job, guys. Hopefully I'll get it. But yeah. I'll talk to you a bit more about the job after if I do get it. But yeah, they all come with these brush cards, which is really great. And I haven't actually tried these out yet, but I know already they're going to be amazing because I've heard so many good reviews on them. I don't expect anything less. Okay, moving on, as if there could be any more, right? Um, yeah, this one I did Instagram. I did Instagram what it was, like what they looked like, but I did Instagram the box. So I went to Harvey Nichols, and this I didn't actually get on my birthday. I got them a week before my birthday because I needed them to wear to my birthday. So I went to Harvey Nichols and got this massive bag and inside the bag oops, is a shoe box which is the Jeffrey Campbell shoe box like I mean I would have just paid for the box to be honest with you. The box is so beautiful and it's massive as well and we open up the box. Oops, this is where things get awkward isn't it? Let me sit back so you guys can see me sort of open it. And inside is the duff bags. And here is... Ooh, that scared me. Here is my babies. These are the... Um, Jeffrey Campbell Night Lita Kid Suede Boots. Or Swud. I think it's meant to be Suede. Kid Suede Boots. <laughs> I've wanted a pair of the Jeffrey Campbell Night Walks for such a long time. But they didn't have them, but I didn't mind because I've always wanted ones with these heels, like these sort of like no heel, these heels, no heels. You know what I mean? Um, the shoe itself, I wore it out last night, and it's not damaged at all. You get so many compliments on them. Well, it's sort of compliments, and it's sort of like, oh my god, what are they? You know, how do you walk in them, guys? These are so easy to walk in. Like it just feels like normal shoes. Like honestly, there is no difference to me. Well, there is a difference. There, actually, I could probably walk around town in these, and they wouldn't hurt my feet at all. Because you know, if you think about it, if you take away the platform, you just kind of have a very like that sort of high shoe, and you don't stand on your tippy toes. I can put all my weight on the back here, and it still would be totally fine. It would probably just go like that, and that's it. But I can lean on my heels in these shoes. <laughs> it's amazing. So yeah, I'm not going to show you the other one because it's exactly the same. But it just laces up at the top here and it just comes out. And oh my god, guys, I love these so much. They are, oh wow. Yeah, these are the Night Lita, Night Lita Upper Leather. Oh no, these are just the same as they are. But they're Jeffrey Camels and I got them for Harvey Nichols. But I don't know if they sell them anymore because they're, I think I had the last ones. I'm not too sure. But that's only in my area. So go to your Harvey Nichols if you want to get these. And these were from my nan, so my dad's side nan, my nan Lorenza. This Christmas, this Christmas, yeah, this Christmas. This birthday has been so, so crazy. I love it. I love everything I got, but things like this, you know. This is like, this is like a, like, like the Sigma brushes and this is just like a memorable moment for me like in my whole life like I've always wanted a pair of Jeffrey Gambles and probably since about three years ago I've wanted Sigma brushes so it's all starting to fall together you know what I mean it's oh, don't even get me started okay so now we are down to the last thing 
and if you think it couldn't have got any bigger, it just did. From my parents, the one present they got me, aside from um, taking my family out to the meal last night, which they paid for it, so that was also part of my present, <sighs> and the IMAX tickets, is this Michael Kors watch. Um, I've wanted this watch for quite a while now and it comes in this beautiful Michael Kors leather case. So along with the Michael Kors bag right here, we got a watch and it is this watch. It is the rose gold, I think, Antoinette watch. It's a basic rose gold watch with a basic face and it comes with Swarovski crystals around it. <sighs> this was crazy for me to open. I was not expecting this at all. Um, and they actually bought this to me in Malaysia before we left because we have a few Michael Kors there and they kept it until yesterday from me so they've had it for about two months <laughs> this is the most amazing thing ever I will wear this pretty much every day it's an everyday watch for me it's really big if I take it out and put it on which you'll see in the um, other view it <laughs> it is just so gorgeous. I couldn't believe my eyes when I seen this. Okay, so if that wasn't enough for you, I don't know what is, but I have been spoiled rotten this birthday. Um, I definitely can't express just how much this means. Even if I didn't get all this, just being home with my family this year. This is the first time I've been home for my birthday in 11 years of being abroad. And that was seriously the best gift anyone could have gave me, just being home. <laughs> but since I've got more, it made my birthday one of the most amazing days of my life. And, yeah. I'm not going to say any more, because once again you guys will know I'm going to just keep saying, It's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. And you would be wrong, because I would. So I think we're going to end it there. And I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who gave me anything, because I know my family do watch my videos now and again. Thank you so much for everything you got me. It means so much. Also, thank you to all of you guys for wishing me a happy birthday and liking my photo on Instagram. <laughs> that was another amazing thing. And my friends on Facebook as well, thank you for all those posts. I went through them yesterday, night after my party, and it took me ages, but thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, you know, everything's just fallen into place this year so far. We have my channel back and I have you guys back and this is just going to be crazy. So I'm going to leave it there guys, thank you so much for watching this video, if you have any questions whatsoever about anything you know where to put it, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked any of the things I got. <sighs> Let's get on with this year guys. Okay, I'll see you soon, ciao.